Hey friends, welcome to my Sunday episode of Let's Be Real. Today's topic is that there is a breaking that happens when you praise. And as always, I like to come on here every week and encourage your heart um, just to minister to you and help you get through your week. Um, so I hope these little chats are blessing you. Um, but there is just something about the power of music, the power of our praise. Um, I don't know about you, but like whenever I am down or in a bad mood, the music is what lifts my spirits. And I was just watching a movie last night on Netflix um, and it was talking about, I forget the name of it, but it was with Taraji P. Henson and it was about a story about um, an activist um, and I think it was South Carolina and um, she um, ended up becoming long story short she ended up becoming friends with this Klansman and he just hated black people etc but towards the end of the movie um, like they were in this building and these people just you know they wanted to end their meetings nightly um, on an upbeat an up note and so they decided that they will sing some gospel music to no matter what happened um in the discussions that they were going through um they were doing this charrette um about segregation trying to get um a segregated schools and so they had people from both sides and um so at the end of each meeting this these meetings went on every night for two weeks at the end of the meeting um, the black people wanted to be able to end on a high note, no matter what it was that they discussed. And so they decided that they would worship and just sing some gospel music. And it would just be so uplifting to their spirits. And by the end of the movie, like you can see the shift that happened with the Klansmen, um, and how him hearing that worship music changed um, it did something to him. It shifted the atmosphere. And there have been many a times where I have just been in a horrible place, um, a deep, dark place. And the only thing that could get me out was worship. I remember when my brother was murdered. He was killed. Um, it's been over 17 years ago now. And the, I was just like, Lord, like you got to help me deal with this. We were only two years apart. Uh, my family is very close and it was just like a piece of you when somebody dies a piece of you leaves with them but the, because he was murdered so tragically it was just even the 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 grief was harder to to bear and so I just like you know people were coming over to the house and I was really kind of annoyed that people were coming over to the house I know that's the thing to do when you're grieving you come over, you know, you spend time with the family, but I was just like, I need to worship. And I remember there were people all around and my mom had the stereo going and there was some worship music on. And I just remember lifting my hands and just praising God in the midst of my pain, in the midst of my grief. And I just remember there was a shift like the the pain was still there the grief was still there but there was a shift in the atmosphere the worship that i the, that i offered to the lord in my time of grief is what brought me out of those depths of despair and there have been countless other times where i have offered praises to the lord and i felt something break and one thing that the lord has been ministering to me is he's showing me how when we worship that brings his favor to come upon our lives it shifts the atmosphere it turns the situation because we are no longer looking at our circumstances and focusing on the bad and all the things that have gone wrong or that can go wrong our gaze is now shifted upward so we are now looking at the king of kings and the lord of lords and offer offering him all praise when we do this i promise you that something is going to break like your situation may not change in that very moment in that instant but the way you feel inside will like you will feel a shift like i said with my brother um it you know it took a very long time for me to heal from his death but that 
deepest depths of despair that I was in, I was no longer in that place because I turned my gaze to the Lord. And every time when like something would trigger a memory or, um, you know, I would just, that, tr that, uh, despair would try to come, come to me again, you know, dealing with my grief. Um, every time I would go to the Lord and worship and offer my praise to him and something would break that deepest depths of despair that I was feeling in that moment will be broken. Like those chains will be broken. And I have to do this repeatedly. Um, grief is a hard thing, you know, to overcome. And it can, it's not necessarily just for grief, but like every day when I do my 1222 prayer for salvation, I always remind you guys that spending time in worship is a great way to develop your relationship with the Lord. It's because, like I said, we're fixing our gaze on him. Hey, Michelle. And we are not focusing on what our circumstance is and we're focusing on him. And that allows us to be open to his heart and whatever it is that he wants to impart to us that allows us to draw closer to God. Like he just desires um, for us to worship him. Hallelujah is the highest praise you can sing um, unto the Lord or just say to the Lord. And I say that often because he deserves so much more than anything that I could give him, right? You know, anything that we could give him because he made the ultimate sacrifice and he allowed his son, his only son to die so that we can live. And so I want to encourage you this week, whatever it is that you are facing, whatever it is that you are dealing with, turn your gaze upward, focus on the Lord and just sing some praises to him. Even if you can't sing, put on some worship music. It always shifts the atmosphere. And like I said, it brings the favor of the Lord to your life. You know, if you would just praise the Lord in the midst of your circumstances, you will start seeing his favor, like open up before you little things here and there. You were like, man, you know, this happened. Like my family and I always remark how whenever we go somewhere, we, you know, like if we go to a restaurant, we usually don't have to wait for a really long time. They might give us a window, you know, say you might have to wait an hour or so, but it's never that long. Um, it's like, I feel like the favor of the Lord goes before us. In Psalms 23, it says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And I definitely feel that we offer our praises to the Lord and the Lord just favors us. So we get a good parking space all the time. We get seated quickly in restaurants like the favor of the Lord goes before us. And I know it's because we offer praises to the Lord on a regular, continual basis. And so I want to challenge you this week to turn your gaze upward. I don't care, you know, what it is that you're dealing with. Just make it a point. Set a timer if you have to on your phone. Set an alarm. I'm going to praise the Lord, you know, at such and such time every day this week. I challenge you to do that, to offer praises to the Lord. I set plenty of timers on my phone to remind me to pray. I have a 1222 um, timer alarm that goes off on my phone daily so that I know that, okay, it's time to pray for the salvation of our friends and loved ones. I have another timer alarm on my phone that I set at two o'clock today that I pray some personal prayers for my family. And I declare the word of the Lord over myself for my healing. And every morning, like when I wake up to spend time with the Lord, the Lord always uses worship to um, set the atmosphere so i'll wake up with a song in my in my ear and i will know okay this is where we're going today in my time with the lord it's just a way that the lord communicates with me and it's a way that we communicate with him so i want to challenge you set an alarm on your phone this week for you know whatever time that will work for you and dedicate those few minutes to offering praise to the lord and see if it changes your situation. If you feel a shift in even your mood or how you feel about your day even. Because so many things can come and distract us and irritate us. And I promise you, when you spend that time in worship, 
it will change everything. And like I said, it's the best way, one of the best ways to get to know the Lord that much more. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard the term earworm, but what that is, is like I said, when you wake up or you have a song in your ear and um, it's called an earworm, like the Lord uses that to communicate to us. And so if you hear like a song from your childhood or something, a song playing in your ear, you know, put it on and worship the Lord and just give him praise for who he is. Give him praise for what he's done. Give him praise for the things that you've prayed for but haven't been answered yet. Praise him from a place of victory like it's already done. There are several things that I am believing for and I offer praises to the Lord daily like it's already done so that I'm just letting the Lord know, Lord, I trust you. I, I trust your plan. I trust your timing. And I'm going to thank you in advance, even though I don't see it in front of me. Um, there are some things that I've been praying for for decades that haven't happened yet. But I know God's word is true. And I know God said that he was going to fulfill these promises to me. And so I praise him in advance. I just offer him that praise. And whenever I'm feeling down about it, um, my my feelings, those feelings shift because I'm offering my praise to the Lord. And I don't allow the enemy to distract me with what I don't see because that's not even faith is um, the evidence of things that are it's not seen. So like we can't see it happen. So faith is when you believe and you can't see. And so I just encourage you to have faith this week and to set a timer and worship the Lord and see what happens. And I want to hear back. I want you to come back to this post and comment what happened to you this week as you offer God praise. Did your feelings change about the situation? Did your atmosphere shift? Did you see God move in a certain way? Come back and share with me um, the results of what happened this week as you move forward in praising the Lord. I promise you that um, there's a breaking that happens when you praise. And so I hope that encourages you and blesses you this week. I love you guys, and I will see you back here next Sunday for another episode of Let's Be Real. Blessings. Bye-bye.